Now, this Friday was one of our most important holidays of all the year. National Donut Day. Yes, it is. I bet you did not know this. National Donut Day was actually created in 1938 to honor Salvation Army volunteers who gave donuts to troops in World War I. So you see, donuts are patriotic and historic. We should have more of them. Now, here to show us how to make donuts the right way, from the very famous Five Daughters Bakery in Franklin, Tennessee, it is a legendary place where everyone in the Nashville area knows about it, and they bring their friends to it. Would you welcome the proprietors, Stephanie and Isaac Meek. Welcome, guys. Thank you, thank you. Frankly, I think I can dismiss you. I know how to eat donuts, and it looks like there are several here. You but you're gonna, you're gonna give us a little insight, aren't you, into how to, how to make these things sure. magic. So what, what we do at our bakery is we make croissant-style donuts. They're 144 <laughs> layers, and they puff up a lot bigger, as you can see with these. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of them are filled with creams or jams, and then we top them with glazes. And yeah, we like to have fun and be creative. I just want you to know Trey and Keith, they don't like any of this stuff, so don't offer them any. Okay. Oh, they, oh, would, yeah. they don't want oh, any of it. Oh, so. we'll skip them. Yeah. We'll, we'll skip them, for sure. <laughs> we'll forget about them. You know. This is, a, this is one of our, our donuts. It takes four days to make them. Uh, four days? Yeah, four days, yeah. That's, it wow. doesn't take four days all like grueling work, but it does take four days to do it right, to chill the dough, to bring it back out, to fill it with the butter, and yeah, it takes four days. Mm. Woohoo! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. And so um, what, we, what we do, this is, we're, I'm gonna make the vanilla cream, which is okay. our most famous donut, and what we do when we start is we fill it with cream on the inside. Thank you, babe. You just... And I mean, honestly, the more cream, the better. Mm -hmm. it's... I think we all agree with that, don't yeah. you? More cream, the and better. In between this cream is a lot of uh, grass-fed butter. That is actually something that we do differently. Better than just of. grass. We like grass-fed yeah. butter. That's right. Grass in the donut, that's a no-no. The cows okay. do it right. That's right. After, after we filled it, we'll powder sugar the sides of it, okay. like, like so. The whole process. Ooh. We're gonna get this table a little bit dirty, but. My grandkids would love getting to play with that. Mm -hmm. Why would they? And then we finish it with more of that same light vanilla Ooh, cream right I there like on the top. Touch. You've this done vanilla that before. cream is a family heirloom. It's my great-grandfather's recipe. recipe. So yeah. that re recipe's been around how long, 100 years? Well, this is the, he was four generations back. So wow. yeah, about 70, 80 years, yeah, wow. at least. Mm -hmm. So, and then yeah. And that's our most famous donut. That's uh, the a vanilla big cream. donut. Can you wrap Man. your lips around. Should I take a bite or? Uh... I think you should maybe take a bite. I also think that you should have the choice to make one of your own right oh. there. We we prepped one for you. Lovely. So if I do that, this is one that you've prepped it. Right. So now what do I do? We've sugared the sides and we filled it with cream. Do you want to talk yeah. about these? We've yeah. rolled it around in sugar. We filled it with the vanilla cream. And so now you can either dip it in our classic purist glaze. That's just like a regular classic donut, mm -hmm. or, and you can put sprinkles on there and, you know, honor of your grandchildren, or you can do some more bacon here. We do have a bacon. maple glaze. Yes. Bacon. So this bacon. is for all the gentlemen out here. When gentlemen come into our store, they ask, what's your favorite donut? Yeah. Like, I don't tell them my favorite donut. I uh -huh. tell them their favorite donut, <laughs> which is the one with bacon on top. <laughs> so it's maple glaze on top, and then it's a very special yeah, sugared we... maple bacon. We get our, our bacon locally, and then we, we cook it with a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of spice. It's, it's delicious. So what we're going to do is just put some bacon on there. Is yeah. That the, yeah, yeah, just, just go right ahead. You, there there you go. can't do any wrong. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. That's right. Mm. I needed to test it, make sure that it was good. <laughs> I test it every day. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important. Mm. There you go. That looks delicious. So there's bacon on a, on a donut. Sure Maple. looks good over there. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. You're not getting any, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Trey, you're close so to then, I am charged. Now, you said something. I could take this one sure. and I do it. I was thinking that you could just dip it right here in this. This is just a pure, like, classic. You say classic. dip it. You mean, like, turn it over oh, yeah. and dip turn it down? Turn it over and dip it, yeah. Let out your inner child. Mm. Go for it, yeah. It's still there, that child. Man, that's fun. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. You're killing me. You're if killing you, if me. If you're looking for a job. <laughs> I may be. And I'll tell you, if I'm looking, this would be a great job, except I'm afraid I would uh, eat into the profits a little bit. <laughs> this is fantastic. And what, just for the curiosity, what is sure. it, strawberry? So every month we do some special flavors. Mm -hmm. This month we're doing a uh, 
chocolate eclair and a strawberry shortcake that are based on the ice cream flavors that you ah, get at the ice cream truck. For oh. summer. And so, yeah, for summer. And, and so, yeah, that's just a strawberry shortcake crumble. Uh, then there's a chocolate crumble right beside it. And they're infused with chocolate cream and strawberry cream. I can't think of a better way to celebrate National Donut Day, but I got to ask, where does the name Five Daughters Bakery come from? Well, <laughs> when we began our bakery, we uh -huh. were pregnant with our fifth daughter. Oh. And so, yeah, <laughs> we actually have five daughters. <laughs> My wife birthed all five of them. Wow. Yeah. You it's never amazing. see the inside of a bathroom, do you? Five daughters and a wife. <laughs> never. Sir, you have my complete admiration. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, this, this is just fantastic. Well, I, I just want to say to all of our folks, you can celebrate in style with the world's greatest donuts from Five Daughters Bakery. How to do that? Go to Huckabee.tv. We will connect you with them so that the next time you come to the Nashville area, I know where to find you. You're going to be at Five Daughters Bakery.